Hi friends, this is our sixth lecture. Today is a very, very bad day for us because as you can see, they had their meals after the first meal in two days. January 3rd, 4th, 1977. Most critical days in their life. In this adventure, so to say. In this adventure of, adventure of exploring. Uh, exploring the seas like James Cook. And then 15 hours of survival crisis. 15 hours of pumping. Day and night pumping. Imagine. All broken. The beauty, the wooden held beauty or broken, ribs broken, keel broken, keel means the base, the base of the ship broken, people inside broken, <laughs> their mouths blood and uh, my teeth and the broken teeth in their mouth, such a situation, imagine such a situation. And so let's say as usual, we are going to the drag down, drag down means pass on very slowly, tough times, Painful days, they drag on. Otherwise, what happens? They jump. <laughs> Happy times, no? they, they be, you will never know. So, sometimes you will say, oh, all five hours, because you are enjoying. Here it is all painful, everybody is injured there, and uh, the wooden, the wooden hull beauty is also injured. That's a routine means doing the same thing again and again. Uh, brushing your teeth is a routine. <laughs> yes. Remote corner, far away place. They are in a far away place. They say, send calls, radio messages, one after another, on May Day. But no reply because it was a remote corner, far away place. Remote corner. Uh, when, when we are in the remote corner of uh, the universe, we will, we will uh, long for meeting people. You know, Alexander Selkirk. Uh, the poem. He said, you remember that oh, I am all alone in my uh, in in this island. I want to meet friends and so on. They shout, crying, longing for, so on, alarmingly, so on, swell, swelling. No? And then alarmingly means so there is a possibility that she may even lose her life. That's the thing. So life-threatening swelling, life-threatening swelling. So swollen, alarming. Made more, so for example, uh, yesterday I hit against a rock and my shoulder so was swollen, alarming. Nothing happened, but I just gave an example and so. Made more of her injuries. That means some people know, made more of one's injuries. See, so look at this, this is nothing, there is a cut here, you see my eyes are swollen, like that. Now one of them has like a litany, they will be making complaints. That's called made more of her injury. Small children do that. When they fall, they say, ah, ear pain, ah, ear pain, ah, ear pain. <laughs> so that is making more of your injuries. Elaborate. Elaborate, giving an elaborate description of your uh, injuries. Small children make more of their injuries. Example. Sufficiently under control. That's practically under control. Sufficiently under control. See, after the storm, the, uh, we could uh, bring our boat sufficiently under control. And uh, sufficient is uh, enough. We can manage it. Yes. Sorry. The horse, uh, after uh, some days it happens, you know, the horse, they will become mad horses. They will, they will uh, run like a Pegasus. This. <laughs> Uh, the horse that you see in the in mythologies. But when you use the, the, the right man start riding the horse, the, he can bring the horse under, under uh, sufficiently under control. Or you can say like this, my stomach is terribly hungry. After eating a uh, few bananas, I could bring my hunger sufficiently under control. You can do like that. Again, that can be used in that such situations also. Then rest in, rota uh, rest in rotation. It's taking rest in rotation. There are three people, three men. One is the golden book, second is Larry, and the other is Herb. So two of them will be sleeping, one of them will be uh, working, uh, working. Then the next man. So one after another taking rest rotation. 
Usually what happens when there is some crisis at home, we members of the members of the house take rest in rotation. Father will uh, stay awake for two weeks, two, no, two hours, then he will go to rest, he will sleep, then mother will get up and uh, take over his position, and then the eldest son like that. That is called rotation for us. And then tremendous leak, a big leak, huge leak. This water is getting in, it's flood, like a flood, that is tremendous leak. What was getting into the wooden hull, wooden hull with beauty, a, like a stream that is turned. Boards main rib frames. Board first, you know, you have got the key in the base, then from there you have got a rib frame. This is we have rib, ribs here now. The board also have got a, a ribs, yes. Bro broken. Then smashed down. Broken by this a killer now. You have seen now. Uh, only board players, they are smashing down the board. Smash the hit. Kill means base of the ship. Hold together. Put them together. Keep them together. So, what are the pieces of the broken pieces of the ship? Very difficult uh, to keep together. Hold together. Sometimes what happens, they are terribly suffering. You cannot hold you together. The crying and loudly shouting and so all together. Yes. Keep your know, things together. And the sea abated. Abated means the the waves uh, the waves become calm or less stormy. Abate means make less. Abate. Certain ointments will abate your pain. That is make less. That is abate means. Very good word day to day use. Pin bricks, yes. There are two small islands. You will you, you read the passage, you will find it speaks of two small islands. So from here we say they are like pin bricks. With two tiny, tiny, yes. Chances would be slim. You have had a slim beauty, you have not had a ch slim chances. That means what? Chances will be very, very, almost nil. Chances almost nil. There is almost no chance in this limit. Very lean chance, yes. And then you know, sometimes you ask the students, you know, how was the exam? Oh, chances are very slim for me to get through. That means it was difficult for me to get through. Then auxiliary engine means helping engine. Auxiliary bishop, you know, helping bishop. So auxiliary engine, <laughs> that means uh, stepping it is a uh, stepping. Yes. Then uh, rigging, rigging the sails means rigging the sails means pulling the threads of the sail, mast. It's a must upright structure. So there are the, there are ropes and chains uh, to 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 tie to tie the sails to the mast. If you pull it like this, in you know, a what will happen? Sometimes the whole thing will collapse. Yes. Keep pace with, keep speed with. Okay, sir. So that is very often used. We should keep pace with the advancing knowledge. Speed with. That means you should update. Especially this about teachers, they should keep pace with the latest. That means uh, you should uh, learn, you should study, you should be always fresh. Okay. Then uh, hoisted the stone, the hoist means the race. Hoisting the flag, you know, you know. Uh, national flag is hoisted, means you are racing. Here stone the, you remember I told you, you know, there is a small flag like thing kept in front of the main mast. So they hoisted that. So these are the main phrases and the words that you are going to encounter <laughs> or you see in this passage. Okay, so let's see once again. Drag down means slowly pass down. Routine means something that you do every day. Remote calling far away place. Solemn and alarmingly means threatening your life. Okay. Made of more of her injuries did not describe her description. More description, sufficient or complaints. Sufficiently so, under not under. Rest in rotation one after another. Tremendously, it's like a stream. Boards name rib frames, the frames of this. Frame, just as you have frames, you know, there are frames. A wooden structure. Yes. On which this uh, uh, the, the, the remaining part of the uh, wooden wooden sheets or the planks are. Uh, Test that is uh, the rib means. 
and then smash them and will be broken down. Keel base, hold to the, keep to the. The sea abate, sea becomes less, that means less stormy. Sea becomes less stormy, calm. Or, or, or you can say like that, the sea becoming calm. Print very small, very small, too small. Chances of be slim, very little chance, very little chance. Also, in helping engine. Rigging means you pulling the chains or uh, ropes that you tie to, with the tie to uh, the mast. Then keep uh, pace with keep speed with and hoist up the way, so is raise the soul. So some of some very good ways are here, for example, you can use chances are very slim, every day yes. Suppose after exam somebody says, ah, oh, so how can you get how is it now? Ah, oh, not very good. Chances are very slim for me to getting the first rank. <laughs> I was expecting first rank, but no, there's no chance. But then I'm uh, abating, yes. For example, you can say that in the St the storm is slowly getting abated, abated. The storm in your mind also can get abated. So his anger is getting abated. Yes. The teacher's anger is getting abated. It is getting less and less. Then you hold together. We should try to hold together whatever happens in our company. You see, if I have a group of friends here, there may be some people who may be uh, quarreling and so on, but you should hold together. Family should hold together, very important, for the growth and development of the children, hold together. Smash down, sometimes tragedies will smash you down, but you should get up and live again. Try, come, lead a triumphant life, smash down. Then sufficiently under control, I have brought everything sufficiently under my control, you can say. Then a remote one of routine, that's very simple, drag on. When you are in difficulty, time will drag on, try. It is slowly trying to pass. And uh, rest in rotation that you are tremendously, tremendously salute there, you can say. Oh, what a tremendous attack it was. Tremendous attack. Hmm? This is a huge, big yeah. board's main grip that is a technical term and so on. He pays with hold together, smash down, chances slim auxiliary engine, swollen alarmingly, yes. So my stomach was swollen alarmingly. I do right. I thought that you would break some silly in the stuff. So like that you can use these uh, phrases and words in your day-to-day -day life. And that is what's more important, isn't it? This passage is a kind of what you should say, it's a this uh, 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 way, way to we can say. It's only a means to an end. This passage is a means to an end. And what is the end? End is cultivating your language and also using new words in your day to day life. And so on and so we'll see. The night dragged on with, with an endless, bitterly cold routine of pumping, steering, and working the radio. So that the endless uh, calling banners, sending telephone messages, uh, radio signals, then pumping, the, the overnight pumping it. So we were gathering, no, we were getting no one place to our mayday calls, which was not surprising in this remote corner of the world. So they were sending mayday calls, uh, mayday calls. Means SOS, save our souls, SOS. But then what happened? Nothing happens because they are not getting any reply. And he says it is not a surprising thing because we are in a, the remotest corner of the world. Sue's head, Sue, Susan, seven, Susan's head had swollen alarming, threatening her life. So to say. She had two enormous black eyes, eyes uh, projected like this, yeah? and bugled outward. The eyes bugled outward. Like a bugle, and uh, now she she uh, she showed us a deep cut on her arm. When I asked why she hadn't made more of her injuries, why did not you uh, complain earlier? Why did not you give description? Why did not you details more of her injuries? Why didn't you give more details about his injuries? She replied, "I didn't want to worry you when you were trying to save us." That's one. 
When he is trying to save us all, then he, she is in she is in that what a broad mind she is. She is only seven years old. That is eight kids, new kids. What a first standard. And she understands the situation. That's the thing. That's why they we are not afraid that if you are, can stay together. That's the thing. Yeah, there you are. So that is something that you have to hold in your life. A morning on January 3rd, the pump had the water level sufficiently under control for us to take two hours rest in rotation. So they managed to pump out the water and was under control. But we still had a tremendous leak somewhere below the uh, water line, water line of the ship, water line. And on checking, I found that nearly all the boat's main rib frames were smashed down to the key. The side uh, ribs and the, and the side planks all were broken. In fact, there was nothing holding it. A whole section of the starboard, starboard had except a few cupboard partitions. So what do you find? Except a few cupboard partitions, all the other things. Starboard, I told you, starboard, what is starboard? Then you look uh, forward. Uh, that is front of the ship. Uh, the right side of the ship is the starboard side. That is not the stern of the ship, but the front of the ship. So the drive smashed and so on. And except there was nothing left. We had survived for 15 hours. So 15 hours of crisis, critical situation. 15 hours. Survival crisis. Since the wave hit. That huge wave, you remember, no? that huge wave with a crust as tall as even towering the mast of the, uh, the highest mast of the ship. A whole section of this, 15 hours, wave hit. But wave walker uh, wouldn't hold together long enough for us to reach the hospital. Lost to come. Of that, nothing is, well, everything is broken. Up to the keel, ribs broken, the sides broken, and there is a tremendous leak. So what? Do? I checked our charts and calculated that there were two tiny islands, that is pinbricks, a few hundred kilometers to the east. One of them, like Amsterdam, was a French scientific base. One, our only hope was to reach there. Uh, these pinbricks, two small islands. One of them on the SF French, under the, under the control of the French it's a scientific base in the vast ocean. But Southern Indian Ocean, remember? But unless the wind, the wind, are the, the wind and the sea board, sea, and the wind and the sea abated, and become less powerful and less stormy. So we could uh, best sail our our chances would be slim indeed. So the only way that we there the, we are not going to reach Australia. No doubt about it. In this condition we cannot reach. We are all broken. There's tremendous leak. Understand? Ribs broken. Up to the keel. Even keel. There's under there is some there are some holes there through which the uh, water is streaming in. And day and night we are pumping. Uh, if you get the only way is that the only way out is to read that one of those tiny islands, pin bricks. But what to do? Then the sea has to abate, means the storm has to be less. Otherwise, um, the, the storm should lose its power, otherwise, chances are slim. The great wave had put our auxiliary engine out of action. Means uh, we had a step in it that was out of action. They are ready for after continuous 30 hour, 36 hours of coming. We reached the last few. Last few meters of water. Last few centimeters of water. Listen. That means we are almost there is little, even angle deep we can see. Now we have only to keep pace with the water still coming. So we have managed. Now we have to still keep pace with means if five liters of water get you, we have to pump out five liters of water. Like keep pace with it. That's so again status. Status quo can be maintained. That's what they are now trying to do that. Main mast. Pressure on the rigging would simply pull the damaged section of the hull apart. 
If you will push the, uh, pull the rigs, then it will only really, uh, create more problems for the for the hull, hull of the hull part of the ship. So we hoisted the stone jib and headed for where I thought the two islands were. So that a small flag like thing kept, then we started pushing headed. And then we went forward. Mary found some cold beef and cracker biscuits, parlay biscuits, cracker. And we ate our first meal in almost two days. So there is some weakness. Some, yeah, something, some relief, little, little relief. That is, they fished the storm jib and then the pumping was going on. The water, as the water gets in, the uh, pump by a process by, by our Larry and the herb and myself together, we used to pump out so we could keep the status quo. And uh, so we also started to take a rest. And maybe my wife brought some uh, corned beef and cracker biscuits, and we had our first meal in 48 hours. 48 hours, first meal. And all this time struggling, critical. Children are there. See, his children, Susan and Jonathan, they are there. See, this is his wife and two uh, people with him, crewmen. It is his duty, his responsibility, something goes wrong. So he was all the time worried, but somehow uh, things coming sufficiently under control. And they had their first meal in two days. In 48 hours, they had their first meal, and that is, you should not imagine that it is like a meal that you are getting in a five-star hotel, but some little bit of uh, pieces of meat and also some fried biscuits. So, uh, so, they are now, at least for some time, taking rest and they are getting some relief. So, with these thoughts in our mind, let us, for the time being, say bye. And before leaving, kindly look at this. You have to see, speak not in public, gather not in public, uh, wander not in public, entertain not in public, to protect our private life. Very important. If we can do all this, you know, naturally I am sure that we can bring this infection, this pandemic, sufficiently under control. And then we will get some relief. Understand? We can take rest in rotation. See that? <laughs> but if there is a leak in this, if there is, if somebody smashes this structure always to protect the human race, we will have to pay. Uh, in, in, we, are, we, we will have to pay. The payment will be very costly in terms of human lives. So, dear friends, please follow all the instructions word by word, verbatim, given by the authorities and let us help them to help ourselves. Well, let us help ourselves and help them. Again, they will dawn when we will all come to happy and cheerful and let us be optimistic and I am the full of hope. Understand? So, till we meet again, bye. Have a nice time, enjoy your life, but be academic and be alert. Bye.